when starting a new job, especially your first job, it is only natural to feel scared and confused. Many people get worried about the way to talk or act in an office environment. In an office, things are often very formal and professional and sometimes you might still feel like a student in college rather than an employee. For example, in an office, unlike in school or college, your boss might give you a task and tell you that your deadline is by the end of this week. Don't panic. The term deadline simply means the latest time or date by which a project or task must be completed. While I am telling you about deadlines, let me also explain what deliverables are. A deliverable is the outcome of a project that can be given to the customer. If you were given a task and asked to finish it by the end of the day, your deadline would be the end of the day and your deliverable would be your finished task or project. For example, you can say, my deadline for the project is this evening, but I will help you as soon as I am done. If you paid attention to your interviewer during your interview, he or she might tell you about your six month or three month probation. Oh my, that sounds very serious. A probationary period is the time which your employer, that is your boss, uses to observe your character and your abilities to decide if you are a good fit for the company. One of the ways you can show your boss that you are a good employee is to make good use of your probationary period. It is to be as productive as possible. By doing a good amount of work within a short period, there are chances for you to receive incentives also. An incentive is something that motivates a person to be more productive. So if your boss sees that you have been doing a good job of your tasks and submitting them on time, then he or she might offer you an incentive to motivate you further, like giving you a raise in salary. Let's look at an example. Because of the team's increased productivity, all the staff were given an incentive of free lunch. I am sure most of you would be more productive if you were given a promise of a reward. There are many workshops or training sessions that can help you increase the amount of work you do. These workshops not only help in productivity but are also useful in teaching employees different ways to build teamwork and many other factors which are valuable to the company. Sometimes by working in addition to your normal working hours, that is the amount of time you work in a day, you could also ask for an overtime incentive. But sometimes, even with the promise of a raise in salary, you just want to take the day off, such as when you fall sick. In this case, it is important to remember to apply for sick leave before you take the day off. You might also have heard the phrase, casual leave. How is it different from a sick leave? You usually ask for casual leave for events that have been planned in advance, like weddings or family functions. In both cases, you might sometimes find that you just need more time off than you applied for. In such situations, you can extend your leave by asking for an extension. It might also help if you offered to participate in meetings through conference calls. But taking an extension of leave is not always a good thing. Too much leave may lower your balance on your payslip. Payslip? Another new word. A payslip is a note that gives all the details of the amount of money that is to be given to an employee with the tax and insurance deducted. If you find it a little difficult to keep all of these things in mind, don't worry. To get used to work life, some people often start their career with a part-time job. By doing this, there is no pressure of working all the time, but you would still be able to have an office experience.
even if you haven't worked part time, it doesn't matter. I'm sure once you see your payslip, all your worries will disappear. I'm sure you heard a lot of new words today. Test your knowledge about workspace vocabulary by answering the following questions. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you at the next lesson.